Hi everybody, here's an interesting Boolean puzzle from one of our users. The desire here was to create the model shown in the inset, with the ellipsoid cutting into both the hexagon and the U bracket. In the bottom branch, we have a hexagon intersected with this cylinderish thing and cut by two subtractive meshes. We don't want the U bracket trimmed by the intersecting mesh, so it's in a separate branch. But we do want it cut by the ellipsoid, a bit of a conundrum. You might think duplicating the ellipsoid and adding it to the bracket branch would work, but uh, Fusion doesn't like the coincident surfaces. You can see that while the uh, U bracket is now indeed trimmed, uh, it's not meshing with the rest of the model. What's really needed here bumps up against the limits of the 3D tree, so it's time to go to the schematic. Hitting the Fusion Schematic tab takes us there. Clicking on the root node of the 3D tree pops up this form where we find the Convert to Schematic button. An alert warns us that we are losing our 3D tree in favor of a schematic Fusion model. And here's that schematic. We can see the same branch structure we had in the tree. Um, here's the uh, lower branch with its four meshes and standard union, intersection, and subtraction nodes. And here's our upper branch with some empty nodes, uh, just like we had in the 3D tree version, and uh, the U bracket attached to the union node. To get the model we want, a bit of rearranging is needed. And here's that rearranged working rig. What we have here is a sequence of Boolean operations. The lower branch, now without the ellipsoid, culminates in this intersection node, just as before. That Boolean result then adjoins the U bracket through a union node. And finally, the ellipsoid is subtracted from everything. We can see this sequence by deconstructing the model. First, disconnecting the subtractive ellipsoid, then the U bracket union. Now, once again, we are back to our lower branch with the familiar branch structure. So now we'll put the model back together. So here we have the lower branch with its result here in this intersection node. The U bracket is another branch. It's simplified here because we have no use for the intersection and subtraction nodes. The subtractive ellipsoid is yet another branch, even further simplified. We could have mimicked a branch by wiring the ellipsoid to a union node and using that node's output negated channel. That's the standard branch approach, as seen in the lower branch. However, it's simpler and cleaner to use the mesh's own fusion negated channel, which you may need to fetch from the mesh's channel list. In any case, it gets the same result. All right, uh, that's it for this one. Thanks.